Hello everyone. Um, last week I got a question about how to separate numbers from text in data so that you can use the numbers for, for analysis and such. It was actually on a MATLAB video, but uh, Excel has a, a really uh, a easy to use feature for separating uh, text from numbers in your, your data. And I'm going to show you how to use that here um, real quick. Uh, right here, uh, what you see is I have column A. It's filled with uh, uh, a, a string of text and numbers. So it's uh, this might be something not too uncommon if you're extracting, you're exporting data from some other program or something. It might all put it all in one one lump here. And uh, and our objective here is to be able to get to these numbers and be able to do. Um, uh, you know, apply formulas and and and, and uh, make charts of based on those numbers and and basically separate the numbers from the text. And it's really easy to do. Um, all you got to do is uh, select the the column, and in Excel on the data tab, and this is uh, true for I'm using uh, Excel 2013 here for the Mac, but it's also the same thing on uh, 2007 for the Windows. Um, and the command is text to columns. Uh, so find text to columns with the column selected. Uh, click on that. And I like to use the fixed width uh, option. Um, if there's a character that's separating, like for in this case, we have a semicolon, and we might be able to use that. But uh, a lot of cases, uh, you, you get to, uh, you, can, you might have other delimiters you need to use as well. So. Um, fixed width works well. Uh, select that, hit next, and right here you can parse up your field. So we could separate all, you know, this however we want, and it goes by the width, so the number of uh, positions. So I'm at, all I want to do is separate the text from the number. So I'm going to get rid of these first two here, just pull them all the way to the left, like so. Uh, hope you can see this. And then I have this one right here, and this is going to separate these the letters from the numbers. And hit next. And this is one you want to pay attention to. Um, when this destination uh, item here, now if we had other data here in column B, C, and D, and we hit finish here, it would overwrite that data. Um, so you want to be real careful when you use this. Uh, for example, if we had call a data in column B and C already, we might change this value here to D to start the new value in D, or we might insert columns first uh, so they're not overwriting our data. But right now we don't have anything there, so we're not we're just going to use the default value and hit finish. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Um, so now we have all of our text in column A and all of our numbers in column B, and then we can use these as numbers. and. Uh, and or if we want to use it in a different program, we can then go uh, save this as a CSV file and import it into our other other program. And that's all there is to it. So if you need to separate numbers from text in uh, in some data, uh, that's an easy way to do it in Microsoft Excel. And uh, thanks a lot.